So I know when we've taught, you came and preached for us. Um, mm. That was prob fun. Probably a year ago. I can't yeah. remember exactly when. Um, but you talked a lot about God taking the church into the wilderness. Mm -hmm. And I know that in uh, our conversations, you've seen kind of coronavirus and the impact of COVID as part, potentially part of that. God yeah. deliberately taking us into the wilderness to refine us. Just yeah. tell us a bit about that. The, the whole idea of, of helping people to understand why they got into the wilderness was in order for God to say, this is where you are and this is what you're doing. Mm. And, j and I, it dawned on me, I, I, God reveals things to you. I never really thought about the fact that Jesus had to go in the wilderness mm. before, before he did anything, mm. right? And you find all these other, the, the children of Israel in the wilderness for 40 days. So Elijah was 40 days with God wanted to speak to him. And there's something that has to be done. There's something you have to learn. Mm. You have to overcome the devil before you can take. And we, we've been going around going, we're gonna bind the devil, we're gonna break through, we're gonna take this, we're gonna take that. And we're a mess, right? To be honest, in, in, in a lot of ways, mm. when we haven't been humble, mm. we, we, haven't, we haven't known the scriptures, we've had loads of traditions and things like that, that that make no sense and things like that. And it's like God's going, yeah, I'm gonna take you, right? But you've got, this has to happen first. Worship has been one of the big ones too. They spent two years up in the mountains learning how to worship, learning how to draw near to God. Wow. And you can't go unless you, and we were, we were singing hymns, or singing songs, you know what I mean? Mm. Uh, I'm not against hymns, right? Mm. But you know Amazing Grace? Mm. It's a great song, isn't it? Mm. But it's not, it doesn't talk to God at all. No. <laughs> and I'm not, I'm not saying you can never sing Amazing Grace. Yeah. But if you can imagine, here's my wife. And she's sitting here and I'm saying to you, you know, my wife is amazing. She's mm. smart, mm. she's clever, mm. she's this, she cooks real good, she's good looking, and she's just sitting there, right? And I never turn around and go, hun, you are something. I yeah. never do that. Yeah. After a while, she's gonna say, you're just pretending, you're just saying that for other people. But when, are you do, when do you ever talk to me, when do you ever yeah. turn? So yeah. God is, there's some things yeah. that he's changing, he's making us do. Right, and if we're stubborn, he'll take the next ones in. Mm. And I, I want to be Joshua and Caleb. This is my 40th year, wow. right? And I feel like Caleb. I feel like I'm just as strong as I was then mm. as I am now. Can I have this mountain? Yeah, right. I've never told anyone that because I didn't want to sound like trying to be some spiritual person, sure. right? But I feel like it's this is our time, and yeah. I feel like we're at the we're some there's some final bits that we've got to share with people, and then we're going to go into promise we're going to start talking about now we take it and that's where evangelism is mm -hmm. that's where we go and do what god tells us and god takes us in and god saves and god delivers and god changes and god does everything you know and all mm -hmm. we do is watch him all we yes. do is follow orders and I'm, I'm not trying to judge i don't like to do that or put in boxes or anything but i do think that if we just keep doing the same stuff and like that then he'll just he's not going to kill you He's not gonna destroy you, but he'll just let you go, right? And then he'll use someone else because he's gonna his purpose is gonna be fulfilled. In case we didn't read the end of the book, we win. You know? <laughs> so yeah, so that that's the for me, that's what's happening to all of us now. Right. Right? We're being tested, we're finding out how much church what our churches really are, mm. what we what we put into people, whether it's real or not, uh, whether our relationships are true or not. Uh, people are beginning to go, I need the scriptures, especially with all the stuff in the world that's going on. People are worried. They're afraid of the coronavirus. They're afraid of the taking the, the jab. They're afraid of the, the financial system. They're thinking mark of the beast. They're thinking all the people are starting to think yeah. that way. And they're going, I need to know. I need to know what the scriptures are really saying. So that's why I believe we are.